Hello everybody, I'm just making a demonstration of the Magic Mayflash, Magic and Magic S Ultimate. This little thing right here. It recently got a firmware update a month ago that pretty much lets you use almost any controller, any fight stick on a PlayStation 5. This is currently connected to my PlayStation 5. I'm using an extension cable because my PlayStation 5 is way up there. All right, so as you see here, I have Mortal Kombat 1. The first controller I have connected through USB is the Street Fighter 5 Mad Cats Pad. It's on PS3 mode right now. And if you look, it works and I'm gonna switch it to PS4 mode right now and it continues to work so that's one pad down I have a few others to, for you to see next I have a PlayStation 3 6 axis controller. So let's plug that in. Just plugged in now. Press the button. As you see, it works. There's obviously no touchpad on this controller, so the touchpad functionality does not exist, but the PlayStation button it does exist. So as you can see, it is working as well. And for people that say about latency and any of that kind of stuff, to me, this feels like it's playing perfectly. So I'm not big into that kind of thing. So I, there's some people that can feel a nanosecond. I don't feel any lag. So that's the PlayStation 3 controller. Good to go. Simple plug and play. But you do need to make the firmware update to the latest version for this from Mayflash's website. When I got it out of the box, it did not work. I had to update the firmware with my computer. And by the way, this is the box it came in. So it's the S Ultimate. So let's try a different controller now. Here is an Xbox 360 controller, not even official. It's a GameStop con GameStop version controller. Plug it in. Press the button. Okay, so you see it's not working. When I'm doing this kind of thing, I have to unplug it. That'll reset it over here. Plug it again. The light's blinking on the on the dongle. Now the light is on on the controller. Boom. And it is working. Again, same thing. I don't feel any latency. Feels perfect to me. And that's a 360 Xbox controller, not an official one. It's from GameStop. It's a PDP controller according to the little label here on the back. So it works with that. I would assume it works with an official 360 controller. From what I've read online, it should, it does. So let's try something else. Last, I have the the Hori Fighting Commander. This is the PlayStation 4 version. This is not the Octa. The Octa is the newest one. You don't need a dongle for the Octa. This is the one that I prefer because it has the cross D-pad, not that ugly circular one that's horrible that I, from all the reviews I've seen. So let's try it again. Plug it in and it works. Same thing. And these ones have this switch up here. You can switch between 
moving your left buttons to over here. That functionality is you know for the remote controller, so that continues to work as it should. You know, um, so now these are my L buttons, and it and it's doing the throw as is normal. So with the dongle, it does not have macros. You cannot program anything onto it. It is just basically simply plug and play. I assume that if your controller fight stick or whatever is able to be programmable with macros, you can do that and then you can just plug it into this and your macro should, should still work. And for those of you that don't know, Mortal Kombat 1 is PS5 only. This is not a PlayStation 4 game. So it's not one of those situations where like, oh, it's going to work because it's in PS4 mode. It is not. It is a PlayStation 5 only game. This is not on PC. So don't say that, oh, you're just using a PC. There's my PlayStation 5 over there. And let's unplug that. So let's try one more thing. I don't think it's going to work because I don't know how to program this controller. And it's the PlayStation 4 official DualShock 4. But plugged it in. Plug it back in. It's blinking. It's charging. It's trying to pair. But it is not working. I have no idea how to reset the controller, how to make it work. I saw, I saw a video of someone making it work with the dongle. I can't figure it out. I, If you guys know how to reset these controllers and program it, good for you, but I can't, I can't figure it out. So whatever, but it should work. So you guys can figure it out. I would test out a fight stick, but I don't have any because I am a pad player. That's why I have all these pads. And as you can see, it works. I've seen other videos on YouTube that prove that it does work with other pads, not just the main flash ones, but basically pretty much any fight stick. And again, the S Ultimate, there's a lot of these. They, they all look kind of the same. Uh, make sure it's the S Ultimate from main flash, the Magic S Ultimate. Make sure you update to the latest firmware and it will work. Because I know uh, these are, I paid about 40 bucks after tax and shipping. I know the Brook converter is about 60, 65 bucks after tax and shipping. And I've seen some other new one, some other new company floating around that's cheaper than the Mayflash that, I don't know, it only had one, it only had one rating at five star, so... I don't trust that one. I don't know what the heck it is. I, if you guys want to try that out, you're more than welcome. But you know, but I just wanted to show you guys.